Hey guys, it's me, Cole. I know this isn't like any of my tweeting and or skit videos, but I really just wanted to make this because on one of my old friends' channels, there's a bunch of like controversy and stuff going around about me, and basically I just am here to say like my side of all the stuff that's been happening. All the trigger warnings will be in this description because I can't list all of them right now. Basically, I'll start whenever we first met. Okay, so basically I'm talking about Rue. So, um, me and Rue met around, like, mid of 2022. I want to say August, but I can't really find any messages of where we are. Like, of where we met, but yeah. And when we first met, they just seemed really just nice. Like, nothing was really wrong, nothing was really off. They were just really nice. Until I met these two friends. We'll, we'll call them friends. And... Basically, they got so jealous, like, way way more jealous than anyone should be of, like, new friends. Like, let's say you meet two new people and you want to hang out with them more because, like, oh, it's new friends. You want to get, you want to hang out with them. You want to become friends with them, basically. And I didn't know this at the time, but basically, they, they had went over to some of my friends and were like, hey, do you think Cole's hanging out too much with such and such? And it was just really weird, and, like, I asked them about it, and they're like, oh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I'm not doing that, I'm just, like, saying you, like, hang out with them too much. And I just, I don't know, it just sounded really weird, especially when I started dating one of them. I was dating uh, one of the friends, whatever, and uh, they kept getting, like, super jealous that I was talking with him and would say that I would ditch them for, um, for my old friend, or, like, my friend or supposed like boyfriend at the time and it's like i wouldn't ditch them i would just kind of be like oh okay i'm gonna go and hang out with my boyfriend at the time and it was just really weird the way that would get really like upset about it and yeah it was just i don't know and not to mention that there was this one time i can't remember it was before or after the ex whatever situation but basically i was on call with them and they were at their like park with a uh with a friend and i went like to go do something i remember but basically they i came back on the call and they're like oh my god my friend just like kissed me i'm like oh that's cool and then like a bit later they asked me to be in a polyamorous relationship with them and their boyfriend and i found it really weird so i just kind of like laughed nervously because i thought it was a joke at first but like i realized that it wasn't i'm like no i think i'm good i think i'm good and it was just i don't know it's just why would why would you ask that to someone i don't know and then there was this other time where we were playing a like a minecraft game where i don't know if they were playing it with me but i was playing a like minecraft game or on a server called hive is block party and we were in a we were in a uh, an xbox party with me and one of one of my friend like one of our friends vip and basically they had um they were talking about something and they were uh someone brought up like oh something about like your real name i'm like oh what's my real name like expecting that they would say cole or something but they go it's like oh your real name you mean says my dead name in front of vip who at the time did not know i was trans and did not know my dead name now their excuse for this is that i keep bringing it up and that i won't let it go but the only reason why i never bring it up or like i always bring it up is because they have not yet apologized instead what they did at the time was they got mad at me that i got upset because they didn't know what a dead name was besides despite them later being like a couple days later being trans and let's not forget the time that this also happened, except I was in a party with them and one of their and their boyfriend. And basically, I we were playing uh I was playing survival games, they were just talking something, and me and their boyfriend were talking about like slurs, I guess, I don't really know. But basically they were like or I was talking about how this one time one of my old friends called me the translator and whatever. And he's like, oh, what's the translator? And then Googles the translator and then says the translator. He's like, oh, God, that's such a stupid slur. And Rude decides, hey, I'm going to I'm going to go along with this. And so they both start like laughing about the translator in front of me. And whenever I leave the party and like get upset with them again, they go like, oh, why are you getting upset with me? I literally just I was just agreeing and saying it was weird, stupid slur. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't give you the right to still make fun of it in front of me 
Okay, so enough about the translator things. So basically, they had done another thing whenever we would meet up like IRL and have a sleepover at my house. And basically, um, we've had it twice. The first time, I can't really remember except the fact that they woke me up at like five in the no, they woke me they woke me up at like midnight or something to uh, get them a drink and when I asked them to get like to get their own drink because the kitchen was like 10 feet away from us they went no I'm the guest I'm the guest you get me the drink that's how we do it in my house and so I had to get up and get them a cup of water because I don't know they just didn't want to walk and um for the second sleepover uh I don't really remember what happened oh we went to we went to a this like big mall near me and we were in Hot Topic, and they were like, oh, it was my it was my birthday, like, a week ago, and you never got me a present, because we weren't friends at the time of uh, the, it being their birthday. And basically, they were like, oh, you, you, should, you should pay for my things, because you never got me a birthday present. And so, I ended up paying for all their shit, and their shit was, like, $60. So, I had gone, like, I had just lost $60, because they wanted me to pay for their shit. And, I don't know, it's just fucking, like, who who just does that? It's just, I don't know, it's just really weird. The fact that one of our friends went up to, like, texted me, or like, Hey, uh, I found out that Rue, like, told me that they were only wanting to go to a sleepover at your house was because your mom gave you, like, food, you got to eat out, and they got money. And I, that, and now that I look back at it, it, it's just very obvious because they would be like, oh, we should order Domino's. And I'll be like, oh, okay. And then I'll go ask my mom to order Domino's. She says, yes, blah, blah, blah. And then the mall is paying for stuff. Then my mom would give us money for going to the mall just to, like, buy stuff. And this isn't really towards me, but it's just some of the stuff that, um, that they've, like, told to me about, like, self-diagnosing and stuff. So basically... Uh, I can't remember it exactly, but basically there was this time where they told me that they had ADHD, depression, paranoia, schizophrenia, uh, and a couple others that I can't really remember. But basically just everything under the sun that she was diagno- self-diagnosing herself- themselves with at that very moment. The fact that I made a- I had a second channel where I posted like furry content, and then a couple days after, they also started posting furry content on a second like channel and then basically uh, it was just kind of just i don't know and the fact that everything they did i got blamed on like whenever they would sleep over at my house they would be on their laptop and they would have like music blasting and then uh my mom would get mad at me and they wouldn't say it but like oh yeah that's me they would just let me get in trouble and the fact that whenever they were on their laptop that they would uh my mom would come in and be like, oh, you guys need to hang out. Why aren't you hanging out? Because I would be on my Xbox and she would just blame me that I was the one not hanging out with them. And the time that um, it was on the second sleepover and they wanted the TV on because, I don't know, they just wanted the TV on. And so I can't sleep with like that light on. And so I was just going to go to bed whenever they went to bed. But they stayed on their laptop the entire night talking to their stupid fucking boyfriend. And so I didn't get any sleep until about 6 a.m. And then they, like, wake me up to get fucking water. Sorry, I'm just so fucking irritated. I'm not just, like, realizing how much of a shitty th- stuff that they've done and just, just, like, completely ignored it. And the fact that they just blame me that they have paranoia and stuff. Like, I can see that. But paranoia? Like, you're gonna just self-diagnose yourself with paranoia without even, like, looking, like, going to a doctor or something? Also, the fact that, like, this stuff isn't also about me, just other things that irritate me quite a bit, is the fact that, like, apparently they're omnisexual, but with no preference... That's literally just pants. I don't know what their deal is with pansexual. They also say that bisexual, you can also like everyone in between, which is also just pansexual. So I don't know why they hate pansexual so much to the point that they make up new, a uh, they make up new sexualities for pansexual. And this time we're like on their community posts. Sometimes they'll post like, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm gay, non-binary, bisexual, and lesbian," and they'll be like. You're, you're, you like men, but then you like women's as well, but then you only like women. And it just makes absolutely no sense. 
And let's talk about copying now. So basically, I it's on it's only in my older videos, and they said that they only copy my videos for shits and giggles because they were mad at me. So basically, they took my hard work because they were just a little bit upset with me. And basically, this shows that um the touch meme is like a bunch of things where you had like character like you had little like bodies, and you would show like who like depending on ty different types of relationships that like what you're allowed to touch. And this had been like months after the trend is, and whenever I did it, like two hours later they had done it. And I can't quite remember um, what else they had copied, but just recently, they, um, not recently, like a month ago, basically, I'm friends with, um, I'm friends with this person, Val, and I made a video of, like, my, it was tweeting, like, my character throwing a present, like, on the other screen, it's like, will you be friends with me? And coincidentally, they did the exact same thing, except they threw it upward. The funny thing is, it's to the exact same person, I didn't even notice until they, like, told me about it, and it's just, like, you, you could have just made a comment or a video, you didn't have to throw a present, and then the next scene, be be friends with me, like, the exact same thing that I did. And yet they want to come out and say that I copied them on their Kudu Kudu video whenever that was a trend, because they had posted a short about making a tutorial for it, and I copied it, even though I did my Kudu Kudu, Kudu in a, in, in the light motion, and I didn't even see their tutorial video. Also, I just want to point out that in my uh, last event video about them, not the like most recent one, but like uh, like a couple weeks ago, I um, I did not tag them at all, and they had saw the video somehow, and apparently because of their quote unquote paranoia that they went to my channel, it's like oh Cole's probably Cole's probably talking about me. I need to go check their his channel and make sure he's not talking about me. And then he's they're like. Oh, let's I'm gonna make a make I'm gonna make a community post about not to like harassing Cole. I'm not gonna harass Cole. And then sends like ten of their friends who don't know a sh jack shit about our situation over to my channel and they're like, Oh, Cole's lying, what a what a mistake, Cole's lying, me, me, me. over stuff that they don't know anything. And the fact that they're like, I, I know Rue, I know Rue, they wouldn't do any of this. You guys do not know them IRL. You guys do not know anything. Except for the online persona they have said, they literally have said in multiple events that I've seen, because I get their fucking videos on my sh shorts page for some reason, that they'll go, oh, you, I play different, I play different, uh, like, personalities in front of people to, oh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because you're a fucking manipulator and they don't realize it. Anyway, sorry for just getting a bit, like, <laughs> uh, off track there. Uh, my bad. Um, and basically... Uh, if Rue or anyone else sees this, then they're definitely getting someone to stalk my channel or stalking my channel. I don't care if it's because of your fucking paranoia. You're still going to my channel advently and looking at it. So if you somehow find this video, then that is just proof that you're stalking me. If you comment or anything, I will probably respond with just, I don't know. It depends what the comment is. But yeah, that's basically just all I wanted to talk about. There's also a lot more, but I can't really remember anything right now because I'm like very tired. I'm running on like four hours of sleep. But basically, uh, I someone after this, it depends on uh, if they see this video or not. Hopefully not. I will go back to my regular tweeting and stuff.